Hello everyone, so in this particular video, we'll try to implement YOLO V10 and we'll be trying to do object detection on a single image in this particular video. In the next video or in the subsequent videos, we will try to do it on uh, what is your videos and other things as well. Okay, so we will start with a simple pip install. So we're going to say pip install ultralytics. So ultralytics and dash Q. So we can get this in quiet mode. Okay. So basic imports, so we'll start with import cv2 till the time it is importing the library over here, it's installing the library. Then obviously we'll need the google patch in order to uh, display the image. So google dot uh, patches dot cv2, oh sorry patches, patch patches, okay. So uh, from this we need to import cv2 underscore show. okay. And lastly we will import ultralytics. So from ultralytics we will say from ultralytics we are going to import yolo so i want to say yolo okay so so as the library has been installed what we can do is we can uh, import those libraries as i had said and let's start with uh, the coding part okay so we will say model is equals to it's very easy over here you just need to say yolo which was uh, uh, defined over here and then you need to specify the name of the model okay so in our case we'll be using yolo v10 dot pt okay so you can use yolo v8 also but we are using uh, yolo v10 n version that is the nano version that's the smallest uh, you can also go to the documentation and see you know on the official page you can find other other uh, to say your uh, uh, models as well, but we'll be taking the smallest one. Okay, so as you can see it's downloading. It's a very small model It's almost 5.59 MB or whatever. It's less than 6 MB. Okay after that simply just to get the results we are going to say um, model and then we're going to uh, uh, Give the path of the model. So doggo.jpg uh, dog .jpg, It's a very famous image on my particular channel uh, you can see over here there's a dog there's a bicycle and there's a truck at the back okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to pass the path so i'm going to go over here and uh, i'm going to say copy path so and then just paste it over here after that let's close this one over here okay so we can now see some uh, results okay so as you can see there are there is a bicycle there is car there is truck and there is dog so um, if you see the image, if you have seen the image before, there is only one truck over here. Uh, the model basically confuses this to be a truck as well as a car. Okay, so that's basically what it is. And we'll find a way of um, dealing with that. So let's see what the results are. Okay, so I'm just going to print the results. Okay, and this is mostly where uh, most of our video will be concerned because uh, uh, analyzing this is the most important part. Okay. So what are uh, our uh, results? So you can see it's a list. It's starting at the list. So let me just uh, find the length, which I already know to be one because I have already seen Yolo 8 and I know, yeah, it's one. But what I need is I need the first element, right? So I'm going to shift and enter. Okay. So this is our output. What are the things that are there? There is boxes. Obviously, we need the boxes. There are key points, which in this case is none. So we are not, uh, we don't have the masks, which means uh, segmentation is not possible. Uh, we have uh, the, uh, to say the, the names, as they say, so zero stands for person, one stands for bicycle, and 79. So zero to 79. So it's trained on the Coco data set, basically. Okay. This is the original image. We don't want like this. We want to, we would rather want to save it. But uh, we'll, let's, we'll just go here. Original shape is uh, 576, 6, uh, 768. Maybe this is not the case. Path is uh, the this path that I've already given. Props not here. We'll, we'll uh, figure out a way of um, finding the probabilities. Okay. And save directory. Uh, this directory. So I'm not sure it's saved over here. But I'm going to show you how to save your image. So let's say how to get the final image out of it this okay so uh, one way that you can do is to just go and type your results uh, results of zero and it is going to show you dir is basically is going to show you what are the things that we can do and you can see over here um, show is there and save is there right so we are going to use save so what i'm going to do is here, uh, here is i'm going to say results results of zero okay dot save I'm going to save this image and then we will see and I'm going to say here content which is this particular uh, uh, 
folder and then I'm going to say final image dot jpg and I'm going to hit shift and enter so hopefully if this runs I should get a final image you can see over here now if you open this particular final image let me close this you can see we are getting a truck a bicycle and the dog dog with 90% bicycle with 92% and the truck with 50% accuracy okay confidence score now let's try to figure out how we can use these uh, things that we have got and create our own way of you know interpreting the bounding box so this is mostly what our uh, tutorial is going to concentrate on today so i'm going to say image equal to cv2 dot read so we are going to basically read that image so that we can draw bounding boxes on this now if you are satisfied with this particular thing you just uh, use it but let's say i want to f uh, find a way to get hold of all the things you know so that i can use it in my way rather than uh, just an image final image that has been gotten over here so what you need to do is you need to uh, say something as results dot results of zero of boxes why i'll tell you why so what you do is you go over here and i told you about uh, dir right so over here you can see there is something called as boxes in the dir of results of zero this is where all of your in the results of zero there is something called as boxes this is where all your confidence score and the uh, class is there okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to first show you itself over here okay i'm going to copy it and here i'm going to paste it and shift and enter you can see over here the classes are there classification you can see over here even the confidence scores are there and then some data is there which we don't need generally and you can see over here the most important part x x uh, x y w h if you want to do this also it's fine x y x y what is x y x y this first x y is the x min and y min of the uh, that is the left hand coordinate of the bounding box this x y is the right hand coordinate right uh, so this is uh, top left most this is right bottom bo right bottom most okay this second x y and this first x y is uh, this first x y is left top most uh, coordinates of the bonding box and you can see there are five five bo uh, four bonding box over here okay so this is the first bonding box this is the second bonding box this is the third bonding box and this is the fourth bonding box okay um confidence score let's see so here you can see the the first one is a 91 percent this one is almost 90 percent this one is a little, little bit over the 50 percent and this is 48 percent so we will remove this particular one okay now let's go back and try to so you have understood this right but uh, there's one more thing we need to find the names why because we understand one is there but what does one stand for okay here if you remember we we know one stands for bicycle but we need to find a way to tell that program programmatically right so what we are going to do is we are going to say results of results of zero dot names so if you remember over here we have something called as names what is this i'll show you in a second so what you can do is you can just copy from here and then paste it over here okay you paste it over here and you wait for a second and you can see all your numbers are there right so we got one one was for bicycle okay what else we had got if you remember we have got 16 we have got 7 and we have also got 2 so let's go over here we'll see what is 2 2 stands for car 7 stands for truck and 16 stands for i hope the dog yes 16 stands for dog okay so we have got the names and we have got the boxes now what we need to do well we need to uh draw those boxes so i'm going to say for i comma box in so uh, so th this is the boxes and to get one particular box what you can do over here is just uh, run it in a for loop okay so for box in this and then print box okay and let's say you also have certain uh, new line characters over here so as you can see over here these boxes are printed so obviously the first one is this this one then the 16th one was dog first one was bicycle 16th one was dog then the seven was uh, your i think remember uh, truck and this was your car okay and what is the confidence score so you can see for the car for the car this is the confidence score and this is the bounding box coordinates okay so that was the idea same thing we are doing over here and we are going to say enumerate 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 and res 
results zero dot boxes okay basically uh, same thing over here but i have just used the enumerate function maybe i i might not even use it but let it be there cf is basically confidence so i want to remove all those boxes whose confidence is less than 50% because even if you if you are not even 50% sure then uh, that might be a problem so i'm going to say box.conf you can again do over here even just go over here and just say box.conf and you can see only the confidence scores will come you see all this confidence scores have come okay so box.conf is going to give you that dot now this is a tensor right we don't want a tensor because we'll not be able to plot it uh, we'll not be use it in we'll not be able to use it in uh, to say your cv2 so we will use numpy and what we can do is just part pass the zeroth argument why because let's say if you if you do if you just do over here what will happen is uh, okay doesn't define my third round yes you don't that's correct because we need to pass two but i'm not concerned with that because right now i'm concerned with uh box.conf.numpy okay so i'm going to just print this one over here and uh, i'm going to just print it over here and let's run it okay again box dot uh, round dot okay let me just remove this for a second i'll get back to over here okay uh what i need to do over here is you can see these boxes are there okay it means this is basically a list so in order to get the first element the, to remove these boxes i have to use this particular thing okay now uh, so yeah this is there now you go over here and put the zero at part which basically means these two things are the same okay now i can use the round function because now it's not a list now these are numbers so now i can use a round function over here and then i want it to round it to two decimal places and let me just print the cf for you okay so cf and let's hit shift and enter you can see all the uh, to say your confidence scores have come okay after that what we need to do we need to say if the confidence is less than 0.5 that is this particular one confidence is less than 0.5 well you continue because i don't need continue so it will go back okay i don't need that particular bounding box but let's say if that is not the case and it is greater than 50% which is all these cases i want to find out the uh, bounding box coordinates so i'm going to say y min y max uh, sorry y x min y min and then x max y max okay equal to box so box was there so box dot x y x y if you if you remember i told you what is x y x y dot numpy dot as type i'll explain why i'm doing all of this don't worry okay and lastly what i'm going to do is pass of zero now let's build this over here okay so we had box of till here we are fine till here till here let me just remove this x y x y let me hit shift and enter and then we'll try to build it you can see this particular uh we have got this right so these are the bounding boxes there are certain problems this is a tensor so first remove the tensor so to remove this tensor what we did we used numpy so let me go and copy this and paste it over here okay so i used numpy over here and what happened uh, basically the tensor is gone but it is still a list so what i did um, again uh, bounding box coordinates should not be float they should be integers so let me convert it into integers so as type okay let me convert it into an int let me convert that into an int now it is converted into an int but there is one more problem it is still a two lists you know it's a list inside list so what i can do is since all these are just first element let me just take the zeroth part so let me go over yes this is exactly what we did over here okay box dot this this, is, this entire thing is over here itself and you can see what we are what we have done we have basically taken the list and we are going to deconstruct the list over here so this one is basically your x min over here this one is y min this one is y min then x max and y max so this is x max and this is y max now basic function just to draw the bounding box so you can say cv2 is equal to cv2 dot uh, sorry image equal to cv2 dot rectangle so rectangle over here and what you need to pass you need to pass the image you need to pass the upper left hand coordinate so that's x min y min and the bottom rightmost coordinate that's x max and y max after that what you need to do is you need to pass in the color so right here i'll be using a green color so that's zero 
255 and 0 and let, let's give the thickness to 2 okay now we're not complicating it a lot after that what we need to do we need to find the names why because we need to make sure that uh, we don't just print 1 16 7 2 we need to figure out and we have seen the names over here right so we already have the names over here you can see over here the names so what i can do is now i'm going to say how to get the name i'm going to say name which is a variable is equals to names of something but remember there were 116 how to get that 11672 the way you get that is you just need to go over here now remove this because we have already seen remove this and do something called a cls so this is a 116 and all that stuff okay so i'm going to say box of box of box of cls but this is not going to do so we have to convert it into numpy so we are going to say numpy and uh, let's print right again you can already see the problem you'll have to do of zero uh, basically the index and again you can see the problem is this is not int so now we need to get an int over here and hopefully this should solve our problem yes so i'm going to copy this entire thing over here you can see all the ints are there and i'm going to pass it in the this one over here so this is going to give you uh, and since this is already a dictionary and this is the integer that we have got and you can see the dictionary over here so uh, when we pass let's say a 16 obviously the dog is passed okay so we have already got the name now what we need we also need the uh, your confidence score a confidence score is not that difficult you can say conf equal to um, so box.conf okay so how to find that just remove all of this and box of conf right again the same story you will have to um, convert it into numpy numpy then s type is uh, uh, let's just go for a zero the first one and then s type is int now hit shift and enter okay so we don't have to write here as type int uh, that's why it was converting it to you know uh, zero so what we need to do is you just keep it till here and then you what you can do is you can round it okay so you round this particular thing to two decimal places so i hope this should give us what we want yes this is exactly giving us what we want so we'll copy this over here and we are going to paste it over here but we all we will need the string version of this why because we can't print uh, basic numbers we need to convert that number into a string now what you can do is you, we can just verify by printing both of them over here and hopefully it should work and you can see these three things have been found bicycle 92 percent dog with 90 percent and truck with 52 percent so now what you do is you use something i have already typed it over here okay so this is how you will uh, print text on your particular uh, image so you will say cv2 dot put text and then pass the image whatever text we want we want both the name and the uh, conf that is confidence and i am just uh, trying to print on x min y min only but a little bit on the right so 10 pixels on the right and minus 10 pixels which is basically 10 uh, pixels above okay so these are the basic thing basic things that you need to give this is the font size of 0.5 and uh, this is the color which is blue okay so so bgr and uh, this is also there and uh, lastly this is the this is the thickness okay and this is your basically the uh, one of the parameters of cv2 dot put text so i'm going to hit shift and enter after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a cv2 im show and then we will have a look at the image so hopefully it should work and let's see yes you can see the green are our uh, bounding boxes and you can see on that bicycle 0.92 you can see the dog and then uh, dog is 0.9 and then the truck and truck is 0 0.5 now you can also do you know you can put a rectangle over here and all those all those that thing those things are uh, those uh, things that you can do but we don't need to do all of that right now okay um so yeah this is for uh, if you have any questions please you know let me know in the comment section uh, this obviously this particular uh, notebook will be uploaded and uh, yeah so if you have any questions please ask in the comment section if you like the video please like the video and subscribe thank you very much and bye